This is the Addition with Common Denominators tool. When you open this tool, you will see a blank addition equation. There is an area to enter the fraction number and blank models that correlate to each number. In the upper right are three buttons that control the models and the numbers. Clicking here hides and shows the models. Clicking here hides and shows the numbers. And clicking here links and unlinks the models to the fraction numbers. Let's begin by using the default linking mode. Therefore, when I put a number in the denominator, in this case 4, you can see that the model is divided into four equal parts. When I enter a numerator, let's say 2, the model reflects that by showing two of the parts shaded. Since the model and the number are linked, I can use the slider here to adjust this model into the number of equal parts. And then I can use the up and down arrows to shade and unshade. This is now reflected in the fraction number. The buttons to the left present the fraction as different models, pies or sections, vertical bars, the default horizontal bars, area, set, and number line. Click the circular reset button to clear the display and reset the default settings. To build conceptual understanding, we suggest you begin by using the models only and therefore hiding the numbers. Students can then be asked to create models using the slider and the up and down arrows. In this case, two fifths plus two fifths. They are now ready to enter the sum. This representation can assist you in emphasizing that the amount of the parts do not change in the whole. Notice that you can drag one fraction to another to assist students in determining the sum. After some practice with models, the numbers can be shown. An optional number pad can be activated with a check in this checkbox. This option is helpful with interactive whiteboards. Notice that the number pad floats as you enter numbers for each of the fractions. Notice that in the same area an option to use mixed numbers is also available. Once students appear to have a clear understanding of the relationship between the models and the numbers, move on to lessons in which linking is not used. Students then can be given an equation in which they have to show both the models and the number separately. Here the student must create each fraction 4 6 plus 2 6 and the models that represent them. Again, the model can be dragged to show that the answer would now be 1 whole or 6 6. Once the model is created, the circular check work button can be clicked to verify if it is correct. Finally, students will be ready to work abstractly without the models. The circular button with an X ends the session with this tool. Using this tool in a systematic format can move your students from developing a conceptual understanding of what it means to add fractions to correctly completing the procedural steps to solve equations.